Hello everyone, welcome back. I have no idea why it happened, but uh, yeah, this is game number 100 and I recorded the entire game in the next three videos actually, but for some reason there is no audio. Well, actually I do know the reason. I simply didn't double check that the audio and the microphone was on in the program and yeah, now we have this beautiful video and you hear me speaking only afterwards. So I'll attempt to comment on the game without uh, giving up too much information about what happened. So Queen E8 is one of the most critical lines in this variation. It's a very logical plan preparing Knight H5. However, I have something uh, prepared against this uh, variation and uh, f5 is now the usual follow-up and instead of the normal uh, ef5, gf5, knight h4 I have a better move that I prepared uh, quite uh, some time ago, maybe three or four years ago and uh, the move is g4 the point is that if black takes twice then I have after h takes g4, bishop takes g4, I have knight g5 and the e6 square is going to be quite weak. And uh, at this moment I'm probably wondering whether I should uh, take or go knight g5 immediately. I decided to take. And uh, knight f4, which shouldn't be the principal move I assume. And uh, now I'm thinking whether I should take it or not. Queen c2 looks like an interesting option. But uh, taking on f4 seems more legitimate. Because after ef4, queen c2, queen g6, I'll have the option to go bishop d3. And uh, not only uh, be humble and, and uh, feel good enough with the better endgame after queen takes g6. So right now I'm threatening queen takes h7 check, which is quite lethal. And uh, I'm expecting uh, my opponent to protect. Queen g6. And uh, bishop d3 seems to be winning. But uh, I'm calculating the consequences of this move. I'm also thinking whether or not uh, I should take on g6, since uh, I probably didn't yet understand how overwhelming the attack is and they decided to go for it so queen takes g4 bishop takes h7 check king to f7 will be forced and now i have to decide between long castle and rook g1 rook g1 being a probably more straightforward way but uh, with the point that after rook e8 check i'll go king d2 and uh, black uh, can probably resign already but i decided to not to complicate anything and just continue my development and uh, yeah one of the most difficult things is to choose between two different winning uh, moves and uh, okay it's a matter of style but the rook g1 might have been stronger long castle and uh, yeah now i'm threatening rook hg1 or rook dg1 followed by queen g6 check if uh, black takes on f3 so I'm thinking uh, he's probably already lost and uh, I'm not too sure what he can even do against this uh, huge threat. King e7, okay, he's trying to run away with this king and now either rook to g1 looks uh, very good. I think I uh, in the game I decided to go with the age rook in order to have the other rook uh, able to go to the e-file conveniently if necessary and um, yes my opponent will probably take on f3 otherwise he will just be a piece down I'll take on g7 king to d8 and uh, now again it's not that simple to force mate but obviously white is completely winning he's not even down material so my threat now played queen g6, aiming to go queen g5 check, followed by queen e7 mate. And my opponent is thinking, knight d7, 
it wants to go knight f6 and block uh, immediate mate. And now I simply ask myself which piece doesn't work in my mind, not out loud. And I decided uh, that it's the rook on d1. And I'm thinking about the best way to bring it into the game. So I decided to put it simply in the open file because my opponent doesn't even have any threats and he can't finish his development properly. Now if knight e5, I have queen g5 check again. And um, yeah, my opponent has to find the defense, but it's not so easy. So he went queen takes f2 and missed uh, a nice tactic that uh, now I'm calculating, as you can see, making sure. Just a simple mate in three. Rook e8 check, forcing him to take, queen g5 check, and queen takes e7 mate will follow. So I believe now after I have won, by the way, this is game number 100 and my rating went up to 2504 if I'm not wrong. And uh, I've given some thought to the matter and I decided to continue recording 5 plus 0 videos. Let's go through the game. And I'll mention my task, uh, my, my next goal later. So this is all theory d5 uh h3 followed by d5 is the one of the most fashionable lines in the king's indian queen e8 uh, someone played against me in a rapid game actually and i've seen it at least two or three times in the past in blitz games played against me and uh yeah i guess it's a very reasonable move if not for this uh, very concrete idea that uh, has been shown in the game and uh, normally knight h5 is the move order to get it so i'm not sure if queen e8 immediately uh, if after bishop e2 there isn't anything better for black than the game continuation. So, as you can see, I'm just uh, still in preparation. Knight f4 is the move I think the computer recommends. And then I analyze bishop f4, e4, queen c2, where white should uh, be better uh, after uh, some details. So, bishop takes g4, knight g5, as mentioned before. Now, after we exchange the bishops... I have the e6 square for the knight, and you can see the engine evaluation at the bottom. So this is quite uh, powerful for white. Only one pawn, but uh, so much activity is going to take place. Knight f4 is probably the right choice, and yeah, now he should have taken with the rook. After which my advantage is not that big, but uh, it's definitely... Uh, within existence let's say so queen d3 of course i'm not sure i would have found it in the game because after e4 the point is to go queen e3 but it's good to know it now in case i'll ever have a game in this position and queen g6 just takes knight h4 will uh, just uh, force a better end game for white bishop g4 knight g6 rook d4 <laughs> i can't uh, get my mouse to get there and then b3 and white is simply better not even slightly better just overwhelming probably because of the bad bishop on g7 so back to the game ef4 queen c2 and white is already winning as you can see queen g6 bishop d3 and uh, queen takes g4 was played and um, there is not much that uh, black can do and as you can see here rook g1 is even more powerful than the game continuation just immediately forcing some compromise from black rook takes g7 check is another idea but uh, there is king g8 which i missed so queen g6 check is uh, definitely the move after queen f3 and now rook a checking d2 queen takes f3 queen g6 and then i can even mate quite rapidly with uh, queen takes g7 and queen f6 check so it's winning even more uh, rapidly than the game continuation which is a good idea in general when having a winning position finding the best win is sometimes uh, a possibility that can save a lot of trouble Especially in classical games, when you have time to think and calculate. 
So knight d7 and uh, queen g5 was probably stronger but uh, I didn't see the concrete way to, to mate my opponent. Probably after knight f6 there's rook g8, yes. Now rook e1, threatening rook e8. c6 uh, of course uh, would continue the fight a little bit longer but queen d6 is just winning. So he took on f2 and missed the mate. And um, yeah, I'll mention a few things uh, about uh, the next videos. I'll record more videos 5 plus 0. And I'll aim to reach 2550. And I'm hoping that uh, I'll just uh, continue to, to improve my results. And uh, maybe later I'll move to another website. And uh, it's actually funny because I don't remember when I actually said the outro. So I'll just uh, mention that it took me a while. The previous recording I made, which is uh, video number 99, squeezed like a lemon, is was made at the end of August. So this particular video has been recorded in the 11th of January 2017 and uh, right now it's uh, the 15th of January 2017 this moment of the when I'm adding the the sound to the video to make it a bit more watchable uh, since I cannot uh, change the rating back so uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, watching this video or learned something from it and if you want to learn some more then keep watching the next videos